I think we're online. Yeah. Woo. So um, welcome, welcome, welcome to 12 Days of Curtis, where it's all things Christmas and it's all things Curtis. So I just want to welcome you and thanks for joining me online, my online show. Um, this is totally for fun and just to inspire good things and uh, share love and all that. So um, for the next 12 days, I'm going to be live online. Uh, 8 o'clock and uh, looking forward to hanging out with you online. Would you do me a favor and would you drop your name um, and the city that you live in in the comments? Maybe you and I know one another and like I probably know where your house is and all that kind of stuff But maybe some of you and, and I don't know one another and I'd love to know where you live So uh, put your name and the city you live in um, In the comments below and I want to say hi to you. So we're gonna get started here um, On the 12 days of Curtis. We are going to celebrate favorite Fun facts about Christmas, favorite Christmas movies, and favorite Christmas music. And it's all things Curtis. So I'm excited to share this time with you. So let's start with our first fun fact. Okay, so you know in that song, On the first day of Christmas my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. Well... One thing that I learned about that song is that it has a couple different meanings and no one really knows like the real story or the history around what it is. And maybe if you do, maybe if you know the real history, you should share it because like I don't know the real history, but I found a couple things online that are kind of funny about it. Um, one of the cool things about it um, is uh, it was used during a period of time to help teach catechism. So there's some links to Christianity in terms of like some of the gifts and the representations of that. And so um, one of the theories is that the partridge, um, there's only one partridge, and uh, that partridge gives its life for its family. So it's kind of a parallel to Jesus in that way. Um, but one thing that National Geographic said about partridges is that they don't live in trees at all. They actually live on the land. And so I thought, well, that's kind of a bummer. Like, here we're singing, and a partridge in a pear tree. Maybe where you live, there's pear trees, but there's no pear trees in Minnesota. And... Um, there's no partridges either. So anyway, all that to say, we don't have any partridges, we don't have any pear trees, but we do have favorite fun little Christmas gifts that we can give to one another. And one of my favorite um, Christmas gifts and traditions to get my family every year is a live Christmas tree. We do that on Black Friday um, and we go and get the Christmas tree. There was one year, a couple years actually, that like I went to the tree farm and like cut it down myself with a saw, which that was a sight to behold in and of itself. Um, so now the hunts go to Costco and get it off the truck from from the, the tree people, wherever they harvest all the trees. But I know that we all love to post pictures of our trees. And so I want to show you a picture of my tree. It looks like this. So we um, have a live tree in our living room and it um, has those uh, fun uh, Charlie Brown Snoopy lights on the tree. And that's our tree of Christmas present that's on our uh, on our main level. And I'll tell you about the tree of Christmas past and the tree of Christmas future on another day. But um, the tree of Christmas present is on our uh, our main level and um, it's a live Christmas tree. And I would love to see a picture of your tree because I know that everybody um, always goes all out and decorates their Christmas trees with all kinds of favorite things. And so would you post a picture of your Christmas tree in the comments? Because I would love to see it. And I would love to celebrate that with you because it's such a fun tradition. Um, that we put in our homes every year. And so um, that's my favorite fun fact uh, about, uh, or favorite f Christmas tradition um, for today, on the first day of Curtis. On the first day of Curtis, we're also going to celebrate our favorite movie. Okay, now. So one of the first Christmas movies that I ever watched as a kid um, on network television, that tells you how old I am, okay? So like on network television, we would have um, shows that would come out um, every holiday. And one of the shows that came out was Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the claymation one. You guys know what it is, right? And so here is this, I wanna just show, you, show it to you. Um, Cause some of the kids might not even know. Like this is a collection and inside the collection is a DVD and you're like what's a DVD well let me tell you a DVD is it's a disc 
and there's a video on the disc and you put the DVD in the DVD player and guess what? It plays a video. It's a novel concept, I know. We don't stream it on Roku anymore. We don't stream it on Netflix anymore. We watch it on a DVD and maybe you do too. So I would love to know what one of your favorite Christmas movies is um, that you have watched every single year and we might celebrate that later on in 12 Days of Curtis. But today we're celebrating Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, because it's amazing. And one of the coolest things about this movie is that it celebrates people who don't always fit in uh, and brings them all together and that uh, Santa's love and his joy are for everybody. So I just wanted to encourage you that you can uh, be loved too, even if you're a misfit and not live on the island of misfit toys like these guys do. So at any rate, that's my favorite Christmas movie of today and I would love to see a picture of yours. Uh, or maybe you have a DVD or maybe you even have a VHS. I don't know. My wife's got some VHS's in the garage, but right now we have DVDs and we stream. <laughs> so that's my favorite Christmas movie of today and I'd love to see what yours is so I can comment about it. Um, and then the last thing that we're going to do um, on 12 Days of Curtis today on the first day is we are going to share just a little bit of that we would do just a little bit of just a little bit of music right i mean just a little bit i mean why not sing about the most wonderful time of the year with those kids jingle belling and everyone telling you be of good cheer it's the most wonderful time of the year but we can twist this just a little bit right so why don't you try and clap along with me and one two three four because it's the hap happy to see of tonight thank you so much for joining me on the first day of the 12 days of curtis um tomorrow uh i'll be here live online for the second day of the 12 days of curtis and i would love you to join me online uh for that we're just gonna have fun and uh laugh a little bit and celebrate some traditions and of course listen to some great music along the way so i uh, would love you to join me online and share with your friends that uh you're you've been here because it's always fun to do that too uh, many of you know that I'm a professional musician, and this is how I uh, make my living, is I create music and uh, do music with other people and uh, tune pianos and teach college and all that kind of stuff. And so I'd love you um, to uh, partner with me in that. Um, this is the way that I uh, put keep the lights on in my house and uh, take care of things i got to take care of. And so if you want to um, leave me a digital tip or some kind of a donation on one of my cash apps, I would love you to do that. Um, I'm on Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal, and you can find me as Curtis Wayne Hunt on all of those places. So that's my little spiel for tonight. Thank you so much for joining me on the first day of the 12 Days of Curtis, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye!